NPT is a U.S. standard for tapered threads used on pipes and fittings. Threads are either straight or they are tapered. Straight threads are used, for example, on a nut and bolt to join them together. Tapered threads, however, as on this pipe, are used for sealing a connection for fittings and pipes that carry gases or liquids. Many of these fittings are used on our small aircraft in the form of connectors for our fuel filters, gas collators, fuel tanks, brake lines, airlines, etc. They're also used for pipes in our house for carrying our water and natural gas. The principle for tapered threads, the NPT standard, is the same for both. It's been around since 1864, so it's time we became familiar with the principles ourselves. Here are the standard sizes for NPT fittings and what the threads actually look like sitting side by side. Starting from the left, we have 1 8 inch, very common in our aircraft, 1 quarter inch, also very common, 3 8 inch, not so common, but occasionally, and then 1 half inch and 3 quarter inch. Those sizes are used commonly in our homes for gas pipes and water pipes. Whenever you need to order an NPT fitting for your aircraft, it will probably be the quarter inch or the eighth inch. 90% of the time, it's going to be one of these two fittings. So if you can become familiar with these, then you're home free. Once in a while, you may need a 3 8 That's a bit larger. But most of the time, the fittings require an eighth inch or a quarter inch. And we have an electronic fuel pump, and that has eighth inch NPT at both ends, which allow us to use a barb fitting, for example. And the barb can be any size we want for any size hose, or eighth inch NPT for a flare connection and the flare size can be any size we want but the important thing is that the NPT size 1 8 inch. Our gas collator takes 1 quarter inch NPT so an appropriate size fitting be it a barb of whatever size we want or a flare fitting of any size we want, an angle, lots of choices. On the very top is a 1 8 inch for a primer line, optionally. There's a plug in its place at the moment. Fuel filters, 1 8 inch NPT on this model, allows us to connect any size barb we want or if we're going with a flare fitting using rigid tubing that is flared we go with that so these are examples of quarter inch and eighth inch NPT fitting connections here we have a fuel tank up on end the outlet in this case is a 3 8 inch for a strainer that screws in there, that's 3 8 NPT, one of the exceptions outside of the quarter inch or eighth inch. On the bottom, we have a 1 8 inch NPT drain. This is one of those spring loaded drains. Push it in to let the fuel out. Obviously, this tank needs to be turned. But these devices are also typically NPT. Again, this example, 1 8 inch. NPT is used on brake fittings for the brake line.
and for the bleeder down on the bottom. There are two important points to keep in mind regarding NPT fittings. Number one, the sizes we use to identify these fittings, for example, the 1 8 inch or the 1 quarter inch, do not match any of the physical dimensions of the fitting or pipe. Why is that? It's just like a 2 by 4, right? The 2 by 4 doesn't mean the physical dimensions of the wood is 2 inches by 4 inches. The NPT world has the same crazy concept of the size names. We must use a chart to determine the exact size if we're not familiar when looking at them. Since we're only going to deal with two sizes with our aircraft most of the time, eighth inch or quarter inch, those are pretty easy to identify by looking at them. The eighth inch fitting is just a little less than half an inch. The quarter inch NPT fitting is just a little bit bigger than a half inch in diameter. You do need to use a chart if you are not familiar to measure the diameter of the fitting and find out which size it is. That's just the way it is. But remember, we only deal with two sizes, eighth inch and quarter inch, for most of the components in our aircraft. And that makes it easy when we need to go order something. The second important point about NPTs, the threads seal only with the use of a sealant applied to the threads before you join them and tighten them up. This is not optional. They were designed to be used with a sealant. The seal is made by the tapered threads coming together and the spiral design of the threads plus the fact that there are micro burrs on the sharp edges of those threads mean that sealant is necessary to prevent the fluids or gases from escaping, even when you have them tightened all the way. The sealant also lubricates those threads as you tighten them up and allows you to untighten them someday in the far future so that they don't become corroded together. So you must use sealant. So this leads to another decision, and that is what do you use for a sealant? And that depends on what is being carried inside of the pipe or the fitting. If you're doing plumbing on your house and you're going to carry water or natural gas, Teflon tape works out very nicely, or a plumber's putty. While we could use this Teflon tape for our aircraft fuel system, because Teflon is compatible with the fuel, it's generally not a good practice because that Teflon tape can be cut by the threads while sealing your pipe connections together and those small bits could get into your carburetor or your fuel injected system. So it's, it's not a good idea to use Teflon tape. Instead, they make some wonderful fuel compatible sealants from major manufacturers for this very purpose and they are available at your local friendly aircraft supply house. So in summary, using NPT fittings in our aircraft is simple as long as we remember these two important points. Size. There's only two sizes we commonly use in our aircraft, eighth inch and quarter inch and we know that the physical dimension of those fittings is not quarter inch or eighth inch. And when we go to use the fitting, we must use an appropriate sealant on the threads in order to get a leak-free seal.